This video is for you in case if you are finding difficult to understand what is working stress method and ultimate load method of design. Here I have made an attempt to make you understand the method with the help of an example with a race. You came to me and said you want to participate in a race. By looking at you, I made certain assumption. Well, you always run with tools and you can run any time. And uh, accordingly, I decided that the maximum limit up to which you can run in a race is 750 meter. Now, the ultimate strength with respect to race is 750 meter. The same thing, you have a concrete in working stress method, you make an assumption that the material is linear elastic, so that is an assumption and uh, you get the ultimate strength of the concrete also. If I say M25 blade concrete, the ultimate strength is 25 Newton per mm square. The same thing here, I am having some assumption that you are going to run with shoes and you can run any time. Okay? And uh, with some experiment, I some trials, I got to know that you can run maximum up to 750 meter. So the ultimate strength here is 750 meter for you. Now what I did, I adopted a factor of safety of 3. That is, I will say that you can only participate in a race which involve a track length of 250 meter. So whatever was your maximum capacity, 750 meter, so I had divided that by 3 and I say you will always participate in a race of 250 meter so that I want to make sure it is easy for you to compete in a race. So I have adopted factor of safety of 3 and it is obvious you will be able to compete in the race very easily. So your working strength is 250 meter. So same thing like if again I consider M25 grade concrete the ultimate strength that it was 25 Newton per millimeter square but in case of working stress method we adopt factor of safety so for concrete in general we adopt a factor of safety of 3 so the working strength or working stress or permissible stress it will be close to 8 Newton per mm square so comparing with the race here also as you can see the working strength for you to run in a race is maximum 250 meter now let us say you want to participate in a race now you can have different track length so this track length you consider to the load it can be 100 meter 200 meter 250 300 400 meter and so on now you can successfully compete for 100 meter 200 meter and 250 meter ways because your working strength is how much 250 meter suppose if the track length is 400 meter what people will suggest since your working strength is 250 meter you will not be able to compete okay that is beyond 250 meter you will fail to compete because the strength of yours has been defined as 250 meter which is walking strength now what is the shortcoming which you can find here so first shortcoming is the assumption can be wrong let us say that trial from your friend some of your friend made some trial and they revealed me that no you run barefoot that too during morning but I made an assumption that you run with shoes and you can run any time. So here you see there is some kind of mismatch in assumption. So this is also valid when we are making concrete, when we say it is a linear elastic material, which is not exactly true. The same thing is possible. So our assumption is wrong here. Next, your strength is being underestimated. Now, as you can see, when I had made some trials, I came to know that you can run 750 meter. But here, what I have given you the strength 250 meter. So you are not allowed to run beyond 250 meter in a race. Okay. So same thing is possible with concrete. If you are working with working stress method, the strength what concrete have is going to get underestimated. Next, there can be a question on how factor of safety has been adopted like i adopted factor of safety of three now there is a question on what basis you have adopted this factor of safety 
there should be certain reason behind adopting this so why choice of factors it is questionable next i never considered your diet mental health when assigning you for the weeks so same thing is possible i know in concrete there are certain problems you have creep in concrete you have shrinkage in concrete so if you are not considering those while designing then there can be a problem so same thing is possible suppose if your diet is not good and if you are not in a very good mental condition so you may not be able to run even 250 meter or you may not be able to run 100 meter also so those factor was not considered when assigning you for the race next uncertainty in track is not considered so as i said track length is low what do i mean by this uncertainty in track let us say that if someone ask you to run on a hilly road uh, you have a steep slope someone can ask you to run in a rough terrain so here you see that kind of uncertainty was not considered when the task was given to you to run for let us say 250 meter 200 meter and so on okay so these are the shortcomings in the working stress method now you can correlate the uncertainty in track which is load so what uncertainty in load let us say if you have earthquake load you have wind load that kind of uncertainty in this kind of load was not considered when adopting working stress method of design now let us see the ultimate load method approach now in ultimate load method approach what i did i actually decided your capacity based on trials i made you to run with shoes and made you to run also at any time so based on that what i said okay well your capacity is how much it is 600 meter but here what we do like based on track conditions or based on the type of track on which you have to run okay that has been considered using a factor which we called as load factor the so same thing in ultimate load method approach when we design for concrete structure we consider these uncertainty in loads like i would like to know what is the type of load that's dead load live load wind load earthquake load etc i'm going to assign certain load factors on those so same thing here like uh, the running race example based on track length or based on what kind of track you are considering a factor which is called as load factor let us see how you are going to incorporate this load factor based on type of track load factor was applied like uh, i'll give one example let us say you have to run in a steep track and uh, one define a load factor of 1.5 now what exactly you have to do say you have to run for 400 meter length in a steep track okay so before assigning you in the race what i will do i'll multiply this track length with 1.5 so it is coming as 400 into 1.5 it is it will be 600 meter so this is the ultimate track length okay this is what this is the ultimate track length 600 meter now this 600 meter matches your capacity okay that is the maximum capacity so 600 meter is the maximum capacity and you can easily run to this ultimate track length which is 600 meter so please understand you were supposed to run for 400 meter but considering the track criteria it is steep i multiplied that with 1.5 now the revised track length is 600 meter now i am comparing the 600 that is ultimate track length with your capacity now it is matching so you can easily compete in this way but now if i revise the track length on same track to 500 meter then what will be the ultimate track length it will be 500 into 1.5 which will be 750 meter now this is greater than your maximum capacity so you will not be permitted to race here the uncertainty of the load has been considered by giving a load factor and whatever 
load you are getting you are comparing with the capacity so that's why in ultimate load method approach it is being said that the ultimate load has to be less than the maximum strength or ultimate strength of the material okay. what can be the shortcoming again your diet mental health is not being considered when i'm going to assign you for this race okay so this is one of the problem second problem uh, what you can see i made certain trials okay and based on that i gave you the capacity now this would have been meaningful if same kind of conditions and track was considered I agree or not because if i'm preparing you to run in a flat track and i should have assigned or i should have given you the same kind of flat track for you to so this is one more shortcoming i hope analogy with race is going to clear your doubts regarding walking stress method approach and ultimate load method approach of designing thank you